All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and go over your task card for the week. No school, obviously, Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, we're going to do a manicure bath. You're going to do it on your own hands. Thursday, you're going to be doing a jelly spa bath, which is what we call the foot soak. The jelly foot soak, you're going to be doing it on your own feet. And then on Friday, you're going to be learning the children's bead bath. And you can either do your hands or your feet, but you're going to be doing it on yourself. You don't need to use the entirety of the beads. You can save some for later, um, but you will be doing it on yourself. Okay, so those are the three things that you're gonna be doing on yourself this week, okay? All right, as far as for theory, you will be needing glue and scissors, okay? For Wednesday, for sure, and the rest um, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, okay? So you will be definitely taking notes, so any colorful type of uh, writing utensils that you wanna bring is perfect. The only thing we're going to be cutting and pasting into your your journal is going to be from your cut and paste uh, packet that we've been cutting all of our stuff out from. Towards the middle back, you have this uh, foot reading. Uh, it has a picture of the bottom of a foot, and it uh, just gives you a little description about your different toes and how they are... Uh, uh, lined up there okay so you'll be needing that page you don't need the whole packet just that one page and then your journal should already uh, be de decorated so you make sure you have done that if you've not done so already and then your journal the one that we have been cutting and pasting on that has all of our stuff we are going to be working with this journal but now instead of working from the front we're going to work from the back so this last page is where we're going to be uh, taking our notes. So on Wednesday, we're gonna be working on this page. On Thursday, we'll be on this page. And then on Friday, you'll flip the page. So we'll be working backwards, okay? So, and so forth and so on. Um, our manicure bath, and then we're going to be putting down our notes, what our supplies are, our steps, anything of the sort to help you remember how to do this service at a later time. So that information will be here. So that's when you'll want uh, your writing utensils so you can write all your notes and stuff and make it nice and neat and fun, okay? So that's what you're gonna be needing this for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, okay? All right, for now, I've already recorded this video twice. This is third, the third time since the cam uh, camera gave out and the, the, the other program wasn't working. So the stuff's already kind of, uh, already gone through some of the stuff. So just bear with me while I try to make it nice and neat again, okay? So these are the things that you will be needing for the manicure bath, okay? bowls so if you have a bowl if you're at home you need to find a bowl that you can put your do your manicures in okay um if you're at school we have bowls for you to use if you want to bring your own totally fine but you need a bowl for the bowl you have a processing cap or a liner this is what it looks like it's the little one you do have a longer one that's not the one we need. We need the small ones, okay? These liners are used to protect uh, the extra layer of protection. We put them over the bowl like this, and then we fill this with our water, and we soak our hands, okay? We have to make sure to wash the bowl, but it's just extra layer of protection, not because of COVID. This is just what we normally naturally do, okay? So our bowl, you definitely need a towel. If you're at home, you're gonna have to find your own towels. Uh, paper towels are fine. If not, then, um, or if you're here physically, we have towels for you to use, but you do need a towel, okay? All right, in your um, packet pickup, you had these beads. They're different colors. You might not have green and blue. You might have different colors, but you do need these beads. So make sure you have these beads with you, okay? And then you have two of these here, okay? And these here are actually, they came in this container, okay? They're the sanitized manicure bath. They're, um, they smell really good. They can have like an everescent smell uh, to them. It's a little tablet you drop in the water. It softens the cuticles, it sanitizes the hands, and it moisturizes as well. So these you have two, you only need one. And so make sure to bring that. This was just to show you 
This one here is extra. You don't need it. I won't be providing it for you here at school if you're on campus, but it's just to show you that instead of pulling this out of a bag, what you can do, whoops, what you can do is put it, have it in a nice little container, and when you're going to use it for a client, you're just going to dump it in instead of pulling it out of, out of a bag. It just makes it look more fancy. So that's what this little container is. If you have one, great for your pictures. If not, don't worry about it. You don't. I'm not requiring you to have it, okay? All right, so the next thing, and I'm gonna kind of put it into view and pull it out, we have is for Thursday. We're gonna do the jelly spa bath. So we have these really big bowls, okay? Doesn't fit in the whole camera, but we have these really big bowls that we use for feet soaking, okay? We have other kinds, but these are the portable ones. They're metal, so they hold the heat. So this one in particular is gonna take the big liner, the really big liner that we put over it, like so, and we put water in here. Be gentle with the liners because they do tear really. And then the liner is this really long one here. It looks like a warm, okay? So you do need that. If you're at school, we have the bowls for you. If you're at home, you need to find a container or a bowl that will work for you. Now, if you don't have a bowl at home, one of these little containers from the dollar store or just whatever you have at home, you just wash it really good before and after the, each use, and then you can put the liner in it as well. Okay, so these bowl, these um, fit just work just perfect. Okay, um, I have these feet because I'm going to be demoing with these feet, and I don't want you to look at my ugly toes. Uh, but um, we're going to be using those, so just make sure that your foot fits in the container you're using. Okay, and yes, this is a child's foot, and this is an adult's foot. Okay. So we also need towels. Yes, this towel is stained. It's clean, but it's stained. I'm, there's a reason why I brought this particular towel. I'm gonna teach you something with it. But again, if you're at home, you have some at home. If you're here at school, we have some for you. So Thursday, you'll need that towel. And then the product that you have from your packet pickup is this one here. Now you might have a gray, a green, a blue, um, a black bag, because they're different scents. Um, there, I think there's even like a peach colored one or a white one, but this is the purple one because the scent is lavender. Okay, so you hit part one and part two. This is the actual jelly, and this is a salt. They call it dilution uh, mineral, but it's salt. So here at school, or everybody should have one of these in your packet pickup. Okay, here at school, we have these that we're going to have for you. These are extra little containers of salt. Okay, so the salt, uh, when you put it back into the jelly, it dissolves it and turns it, back, turns it back into water. So here at school, we have some of these for you. If you're at home, you're, I forgot to put them in a packet pickup uh, bags of y'all, so you have to find some extra salt to use at home. Whatever you do, do not, when you're done, do not put any of this uh, in the down the drain. It will clog your drain. We throw this outside in the grass or in the flower bed to dilute. So if you don't have extra salt, no big deal. Just throw it outside, okay? So that is the supplies that you're going to be needing for Thursday. And then for Friday, we need this. You need a towel. Again, if you're here or at home, you need a towel. Um, you need these Orbeez. They uh, expand, okay? So you do need this little packet. And then you need another one of these liners. These liners, we don't keep them, we throw them away. Okay, so you need a liner. This bowl here is uh, just, I was gonna demo with, so I'm gonna pour these in here, um, and then I can just pour them into my, my bigger bowl or container. Uh, you don't have to use all of them, you can use half and save some for later, should you choose, if you wanna try it on somebody. But these are just, uh, pour them in here and pour them um, when I'm with my client to make it look fancy, because this bowl matches my other bowls. Uh, if you want, you can just pour them in here, but when you're working with the client, if you don't use all of them, since this doesn't reseal, um, then your beads go all over the place. So it's just, or have a little spoon and, you know, pour them in or scoop them in, however you choose, just be fancy with it, okay? So towel, uh, liner, your beads for sure, optional bowl if you want. You're gonna need some scissors to cut this with, uh, just FYI. And then you can use a manicure bowl if you're gonna use do the service on your hands or you can do the pedicure bowl or bin if you're gonna do them on your feet, okay? So those are the supplies that you'll be needing. Uh, so please make sure you have those things ready for this week.